he was one of my greatest kids. A family camping trip here in Manitoba's White Shell Provincial Park ending in tragedy after a 12 year old boy slipped on some rocks, fell into fast moving rapids and could not be rescued. Danish Habib and his family were staying at the Nudimik Lake campground and hiked to Sturgeon Falls shortly before noon. The falls are a wide set of rapids situated around 130 kilometers east of Winnipeg near the Manitoba Ontario border. He screamed and when I turned he was almost half halfway inside the water and he was slipping trying to hold but he couldn't hold i was too far from him so i can't give him my hand habib says another person jumped into the water to try and rescue his son you said but it was too late i didn't know swimming so i couldn't go inside and save him i couldn't go inside and save him the RCMP underwater recovery team was deployed to the area Saturday afternoon and recovered the boy's body at around 1 a.m. Monday morning. Tara Seal from the Manitoba RCMP says tragedies like these take a major toll on the responders. Just the fact that there's a lost child, that alone is extremely difficult to deal with, but also to have the family on scene um, to trying to keep them updated and, and seeing their pain and and, and what they're going through, it's extraordinarily difficult for everybody involved. Manitoba's Hatterian Emergency Aquatic Response Team, or HART, joined the RCMP in the recovery efforts. Paul Mandel, the dive team lead, says technology played a part in locating the boy. The water there was uh, 60 feet deep, and uh, we're able to find him and recover him with the remotely operated vehicle. According to the Manitoba Life Saving Society, there are around 22 reported drownings in Manitoba every year. Mandel says it's extremely important to be safe when in or around the water. When you are near water, to have a life jacket on there or personal flotation device uh, would have made a big difference. The investigation remains ongoing. In Winnipeg, Alex Carpa City News.